know this is a little unorthodox compared to the usual methods, but hoping this announcement will at least be a little entertaining. Put to you this long story short. Thought we had things all figured out using OBS and XSplit and all these other goddamn fucking programs and that, but uh <sighs> they're only used for one person. Couldn't figure out how to get more than one person in there by the time I figured out how to get some of the stuff to work, everybody else went to bed. So, I'm gonna at least stick to what I know how to do. And I'm gonna make this little announcement entertaining. Wait, you need to I'm gonna basically the pull them out here. So, first order of business. Uh, Reverend, Lamont, Lawrence, House, Jesus, practically everybody in the server was asking, okay, when's the next Chronicle gonna be out? How's Bobby doing? Told us he was in the hospital, he really didn't tell us all about what was going on in that. Alright, now as far as Chronicle 10, we're planning on getting that done by hopefully next Saturday. They say hopefully because you still get house visits and that from the doctors and that and uh, oh boy is he getting spoiled. <laughs> uh, so hopefully next Saturday they'll be all good to go and I'll be able to drop by, get on the computer, hopefully not have too much trouble with uh, with Adobe and all that because you know it'll be in a bunch of jag offs. Just like these guys. <laughs> yeah, I gotta love when this works. Oh, I'm gonna get the two robots to fight each other. This will be neat. <laughs> uh, take care of my dirty work. But anyways, uh, all that aside, no. I am hoping that next Saturday we'll be able to get this up and running. Because basically, the only problem we've really had is the fact that since he's been unavailable... And I've been busy kind of, so they haven't really been able to get over there to do any any of the major editing and all that, you know. So just be sitting here twiddling our thumbs. And being the fact that the normal methods of streaming have become so absurdly complex, it's kind of put us in a bit of a tight spot, which is why... Whoa, glitchy here. <laughs> Look at those guys. <laughs> About as smart as AP's goons. Oh, where is he? Where is he? Oh shit, he's here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Yeah, just in time for me to kill you. Uh, I gotta love it. Nonetheless, though, good handful of minor setbacks have gotten us. Good thing is, next Saturday, we're planning on getting things up and rolling. We get things squared away with Adobe in that. I mean, if anything, hey, we've at least got After Effects, so no biggie there. If we have to go and do our can full of images and basic video, not video, photo editing, the video editing should be fine, God willing. Uh, as far as the photo editing and that, we should be able to take care of that in game worst case scenario. You know, nothing I can't do, did a little bit of a crash course of that earlier today. Had uh, Ronan giving me, giving me a hand with some of that as I was bouncing some ideas back and forth with him. Boom. There we go, he's gonna blow up soon. There he goes. That thing Ronan and I were working on is a little project I had for Backline in particular. And this deal is fairly simple. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with the map, we have a nation on there that's labeled shit posters. And. I wanted to go and switch that out with another country. So I've been bouncing a couple ideas around, seeing whatever sticks, seeing whatever's decent. And the one thing that I want to potentially use is uh, Zarvenia. Now for those of you that aren't familiar with it, uh, I would suggest that you guys go and look up uh, America's Army Comics. They're free, they're good US propaganda, and I mean as in, they're pretty legit stuff. Pretty decent looking and stuff. Like I'm all fan, like I'm a big fan of comical propaganda and shit like that. Nothing too overt in that. But, you know, it's, it's in the same vein as like GI Joe and that. You know, go out there, gun down the bad guys. Here's the military situation. America is the good guy. You know, stuff like that. It's it's the stuff they use to try and get you to join the army. So naturally, it's not going to be some pinko bullshit. But uh, 
the irony is that Servenia is the uh, enemy in that comic book, but the reason why I picked them is America's army, and on top of that, the nation's flag, ironically, is an anarcho-syndicalist flag. They've got a couple additional trimmings and some stuff to it, and I was like, yeah, you know what, then maybe we can tweak this. Let's see what we can do here. You know, it started to get my creative juices flowing, so I was contemplating doing that. Now, if things go according to plan, for change, that should be within Chronicle 10 and the movie as well. I know we're about a month behind on that. Hey, things have happened. I had a lot of trouble with my vehicle. Bobby wound up getting his surgery in that, which is a really extra business. He's actually doing fairly well, despite the surgery. The main thing is that it took forever for him to get his surgery. He went in, they looked at him and stuff, they put him through a whole bunch of stupid tests and nonsense, and uh, basically it tweaked out because he's got an oddball heart. <laughs> yes, that's what he gets for not being a liberal. Uh, so he had to go and wait a little bit, then one doctor talked to the other doctor, and that doctor told him he's an idiot, and then finally they put him through again a few weeks later for some scans and this and that and some other nonsense. And what I'll boil down to is, finally, as of about almost a week ago, roughly, uh, to the day now, that's the 5th, uh, he's been out of the hospital and he's been recovering. And he's doing fairly well. He's up running around in that, he's eager to get back to video editing in that, he's looked over a couple of things. And he likes the direction of some of the stuff's going in, which is good. You know, we haven't been doing anything uh, egregious that he's just like, yeah, it's some termite bullshit, get rid of it. So, you know, we're all good. I like these poor bastards over here. Come on, you termites. Oh, he's done. Uh. Oh, I gotta love it. Gotta love dodging that, that was fun. Nonetheless, so he's on the road to recovery. He's doing all right. By next Saturday, we're planning on dropping over at Bobby's place, getting some editing done, and we'll at least get the next Chronicle done by that night. Let's of course we run into any major setbacks again. Seeing as how we're already a month behind schedule, I don't foresee that happening now. Oh! Uh, unlike my luck in this mission, though. <laughs> Don't worry, though. We're gonna keep playing. But be all right. We can get the fuel dumps location from the terminal raids. You need to hack it. Ah. <sighs> Good stuff. Unlike my skills in this mission, which are absolutely terrible. So. Next Saturday is when we're going to get things back on track and get things rolling. Basically, the surgery that they did to uh, Bobby is he got his two lower discs fused together. And they're going to gradually start uh, molding together in the next couple of months. They basically have some pins in there right now. And the good thing is he, is he used to have uh, bad pains in his knee. And he says since he got that surgery, that's been going away. So that's fine. And then last year it was before we filmed the 5th Chronicle, if I remember correctly, between the 5th and 6th, he had to get his hand operated on, which is why in some of the Chronicles you'll see that his hand looks bandaged up. He basic, basically, he did, tells me, oh yeah, this is from an old bar fight I got in. It's like, alright, I'm getting this bar fight, how long ago you need to get that Our checked up? Uh, that's why you guys need to see a doctor on a regular basis so you don't turn 60. And we wound up getting, having to get a bone taken out of your hand because you broke some dude's teeth because he called you a faggot. <laughs> uh, uh, is the do all right? We get things rolling. This be okay. We're gonna get things back to the way they were beforehand. Hopefully, it won't take too long to edit it. It usually doesn't. It takes one full day. Get that done and over with. That'd be pretty quick. Because we've already got plenty of footage, that's not a problem. Um, it's too risky leaving that patrol alone. I want to thank you in particular out. to our buddy Larry or Ronan, as he's going by now over in Poland, for some of the footage that he's provided. Because that's 
definitely helped. Because, hey, the more footage we got, the better. I don't know you guys were wanting to do the comedy role in that with some of the memes and such. We will definitely get to that. I'll have to go and make that a separate thing, although I'll just wind up doing that as a regular video in the same fashion we did the sweater project, because the sweater project turned out pretty good, you know? I haven't heard any complaints, and editing it was fairly easy. That's something more or less I could do from home. Thankfully, I wouldn't have to be at Bobby's to go ahead and do that, so it wouldn't be too bad. Let's see here now in regards to some of the other matters we've had going on. As far as the streaming and that, yeah, not much I can do about that. I tried to go and get some of that work in today, and you can see how well that went. Which is why I'm sitting here playing the doggone video game. <laughs> because, yeah, it's, it's just an absolute pain in the ass to try and get that to work. Gotta love YouTube and their bureaucracy. You know, simple, easy, Eh, screw that. You know, you know, things nice and complicated. So essentially, most of the Musketeer streams and other single streams like I guess I'm stuck kind of doing now in this sense, but probably just do them in this fashion for just simplicity's sake. So I can get it done and over with. Because the main thing is, I want to get stuff done. It's just I can't always get over to Bobby's to get it done. Because you work, this trouble, that trouble, you know, him need a little recovery time in that, because we were able to get the last chronicle done pretty pretty easily in that. It just took a little extra time because he had to take a couple breaks here and there. Now, thankfully, because now he's on some pretty decent painkillers, that shouldn't be a problem. You know, won't need to worry about hurting him too much. So, things should hopefully be back onto a more somewhat regular schedule as far as backline. And the streaming, we're just gonna have to find a workaround. There's no other way to really go about it. So, it's pretty much gonna have to either go sort of like this, or if anyone knows how to work OBS, explain any other stuff, hey, let me know. That's pretty much that. As in regards to some of the others and mat other matters and all that stuff we've got going on, it pretty much the same as always. You know, Scoop and Terror getting a couple of videos together and stuff. I'm sitting here doing this for the time being, bouncing between work, trying to get this rolling, trying to get that rolling, and all that good stuff. Ooh. Boom, got it. Great. Pack the terminal and find the fuel dump location. No, oh, nice, good. I'm falling all that gear. Ah. Now, as far as if anyone wants any plot teasers in regards to the next Chronicle movie and all that good stuff, basically we're gonna place Nation ship poster with, with Zarvenia or some variation of it that we're gonna make. Because I mean. We could go ahead and comically rip off America's army and then just keep it all the same, but the geography is a bit of a problem because uh, in America's army, Zarvenia is located over in Eastern Europe. They're basically a country that was a former part of the Soviet Union, and they left and became the independent state of Zarvenia, instead of, you know, being attached to the Soviet Union, just like, you know, Ukraine, Bulgaria, and the rest of them did. And being the fact that, you know, yeah, we do got Georgia, we could, you know, kind of slap the same story together for them, with, you know, being that they're right next to Georgia and that, but they're also the right by Azerbaijan as well. So, being that they're between Azerbaijan, ooh, come on, leap over, there we go. Seeing as they're located right next to Georgia and Azerbaijan, basically what I'm thinking is, okay, let's, let's give them a little bit of a... Uh, Arabic culture too, just so they f they fit the rest of the, of the setting. Because I think they'd make it like a nice little balance in that, because Kakistan's relatively diverse in that sense as far as ethnicities and Ooh, whoop, oh god, gotta love that lag. <laughs> yeah. As far as biological makeup and all that stuff, ethnicities, cultures, and stuff, you know. We made Kekistan relatively diverse in that aspect, you know. 
not diverse in the liberal sense because you, you know what the hell with that. Oh, yep. Oh, my character did not want to leap there. Oh, such a pain in the ass. actually good at at this point. So aside from that, main thing is we want to work on, okay, if we're going to make Sarvenia an actual country, how do we want to go about it? So the main thing I do is I want to make them a little bit similar in culture to the rest of the nations around that general area, and I also want to make them an ally of Kakistan. The idea we're pandering around is, okay, so what we're going to do is, is we're going to make them an ally of Kekistan, and since the Battle of Megalistan is going to definitely be canon, we're going to say, okay, so the invasion of Megalistan happens because Megalistan attacks, or what we believe at that point to be Turkmenistan, goes and invades Kekistan on their southern border, people push him back in that, and... Basically, Zarvenia goes and helps the Kekistanis out, helps them hold the line, and then, bam, 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 went up taking out Mangalistan. Now, as far as more of the intricacies, as far as who, what, when, where, why, and more importantly, who shot Captain Somebody, we are working on, on thickening that plot. That's something I'm more so letting Bobby work at, because he's got some pretty interesting ideas and stuff together. And I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed with some of the stuff that he's working on in regards to that. So, that won't be so bad. Yes, I know it's going to be a little bit of a wait because, realistically speaking, it's going to go like this. Okay, next Wait, Saturday, our medics are I'm going to sit there all day. Your job and I'm going to be sitting there and going to be editing. The Sunday, we're going to see what goes on Sunday. Maybe we'll do a little bit more so editing, maybe not. But if anything, for you. if it doesn't get done next Sunday... Then they would probably done within the weekend after that. Or likely not, unless everything comes up. Which it shouldn't, but you know, I'm pretty straightforward with you guys. I'll let you guys know how it's going on that. You know. But the good thing is, Bobby's pretty well well up on his meds and that, so you know, that shouldn't be a problem. The only thing at this point I probably have to worry about is, okay, did we lose the files? Because that does tend to happen every now and again. He loses some of the files and that, and then we have to go through them and all that. Like, uh... Like the silly footage that we wound up using for 9. Yeah, that was some footage we lost years ago. Like, years and years when we first started doing, doing the film project and some other stuff. So, hopefully the same doesn't happen, but you know, it did... I don't see it happening, because if... Because from what he's told me, he's got an abundance of film. He just needs me to get over there so we can start editing. So, that shouldn't be so bad. Oh, these goddamn shotgun guys pissed me off. There we go. fun there. <laughs> uh. Race, your first objective is the radio relay. Oh, the gotta love these lucky. goddamn communists. What thing I particularly love is playing with their toys. Boom, you're mine. Gotta love it. Let them blow up all their own goodies. Yeah, 
There we go. Now I should just have to get rid of this, and I shouldn't have to worry about much. Oh, hell yeah. There we go. Royal discharge. Whew. Rates, you need to activate the radio relay for a direct Oof. link to the Eagles. Gotta love them painkillers. <laughs> uh, these are probably about as strong as what Bobby's getting. Man, that guy's working on Norcos for that back injury he had. Back surgery, back whatever, whatever, whatever he initially did. <laughs> Messed his back up for Lionel. He got that because he's like, oh yeah, I got a, I got another buy fight with a guy. Oh yeah, up over some dude over in the trenches in Iraq or something. <sighs> Who knows? He's gonna be back. He's gonna be all right. And one thing I want to do in regards to some of the streaming in that is since this seems to be most applicable format I want to see if I can do something like this more often for you guys and get some of the other guys in so you're not sitting here acting like it's twitch watch me play an outdated freaking video game going man is backline gonna be going when's the next chronicle gonna be out when's that fucking movie coming out we've been waiting for John come on John what the fuck John get the goddamn Great. shit together John we're waiting here John I, I, I know it sucks <laughs> trust me I wanted to get it together a while ago with all that. <sighs> Things just didn't exactly plan out. Sorry. But hopefully, if all things go according to plan. Within a month's time, we'll have the next two Chronicles out and at least some of the movie. Because I've at least got the introduction to the video all thought out for the teaser or the trailer, whatever you want to call it, for the Backline movie. And basically, long story short, we're going to rip off Death Clock. Because our resident sniper Alex was pandering around some ideas and that he's like, Hey, why don't, why don't we come riding in on motorcycles like Death Clock or something? You know, that would be a really cool idea. I was like, you know, take a little work for you. know, that's a decent idea. Probably do something like that. And we go and show it to Bobby, and he was like, I like it. It's metal. How the hell are we going to do this? I'm like, I'll figure something out. I'll get back to you on that. But some way, somehow, I'll figure it out. Just whatever you do, don't throw out that green screen. We're going to need that green screen. It's like, all right, I'll keep that thing tucked away. So, <laughs> if anything, at least he's got that green screen, so I don't have to worry about taking this one down here so that he can go and use that. Uh, yeah, if you're wondering what I was bumping, yeah, that's, that's how I do the editing here. <laughs> I mean, what, am I just going to go run around and squat a bunch of abandoned buildings or something? <laughs> nah, that gets old really quick. But for all intents and purposes, that's essentially it. Um, we go look for some more community input in regards to Zarvenia because I do want to get everyone's thoughts on it and see if okay, shit posters are really a dead thing. Is it not a dead thing? And that because I made a couple flags for Zarvenia with Ronan earlier, just as some couple ideas in that, and eh, they came out pretty good. The thing is, I want to, of course, naturally make more than just flags. You know, I want to get a whole whole nation thought out and such, because, I mean, you know, he's going to be fighting alongside Kekistan. You know, it's going to be well thought out. Now, the good thing is, though, Ronan being being a professional war reenactor and that, he was able to help out with a whole bunch of the designs in regards to, you know, what their infantry is going to look like, what type of gear they look, gonna be working with. He was on it like that. Guy did an absolutely great job. Great job. We've got yeah. I'm gonna go in and refill on my my uh, alcohol real quick. 
Well, this guy goes ahead and heals up because where I'm at right now, I should hopefully not be able to get shot. So, short commercial break for something funny, real quick. <laughs> you guys are gonna like this. Which is what Sonic does best. Sonic got to his class and sat down in his seat. It is journal day, said Sonic's English teacher, Mrs. Lesson. I want to fucking take out your journal Wait a minute. and put them yes! in the file, and I will read one of your entries to the class. Sonic took Beat out these chickens with a cane and ran out in front of his Fuck a cane. quickly and put his journal on the desk and ran back to his desk, with, all with his head down and not talking or looking at anyone. Sonic was so fast that he did it first. Everyone afterwards and slower. Mrs. Lesson grabbed a journal from the pile and Sonic knew it was his because it looked like Sonic's. Yes, journal. ladies and gentlemen, our victim Sonic here. This because he had written it so many times, it was crazy. Mrs. Lesson opened up a totally random page and it was the run. worst one she could have picked. She began to read. Dear journal, I called the doctor today about a problem. I have a problem with my balls. Oh my. They are itchy and it is difficult to sit still with them New because they are created. so itchy. I have to back up against stucco surfaces and rub up and down on them to relieve the itchiness. No creams have worked. No creams? I only make my ball sweat smell like the breath of a thoroughbred. And I think Amy, my girlfriend, so I just beating the fucking clouds. Love, Sonic. Whoa, no, stop reading! Said Sonic. But he reacted too late because it was already read. All of it. Everyone in the class laughed and Sonic felt like an idiot asshole. Because now everyone knew all about the ball problem. Sonic felt his rage build up inside of him like a pool of lava in a volcano. Stop laughing at me! Don't tell anyone! Shouted Sonic, but everyone was laughing so loud that they did not hear him, and Sonic Cyborg was recharging so embarrassed station. and mad and sad, but more embarrassed, so he ran out of the class fast. Of course he did. Sonic ran to his locker and opened it and screamed into it. Alright, ooh, hey, it looks like we healed up and loaded up just a little bit while we were on that nice little commercial break. Hope you guys like that one there. <laughs> it is a little something brief put together. And I figured if I'm gonna have to do this in a video format, I may as well at least keep it a little entertaining. What are we gonna do? Be a drunk and disheveled lunatic? Nah. Anyways. So, as far as backline updates, Bobby's recovering. He's doing all right. We're gonna try and take it slow because of his, his back injury and that. Cause he is, he's feeling pretty fine in that, but you know, I don't, we don't exactly wanna push him too far cause you know, guy's getting old. But you know, he's on plenty of Norcos. He's getting spoiled as all hell between his misses, his two doctors that are going to visit him on a weekly basis and his stepdaughter, so. Thankfully, he's pretty well spoiled in that regard now, but, uh, you know, he's definitely eager to get rolling. We just want to make sure the rest of his ligaments are going to be as eager as his spirit. So, for the time being, Race, your hopefully you guys are enjoying me sucking relay. horribly at home Eagles front. Are waiting to update you. <laughs> right? Uh, this is the Eagles. We located an old clinic. Anyways. We should check it out together. Get yourselves over here. Next Saturday. And then after that, hopefully every week, every other week, we'll be over there getting some stuff done little by little. If you guys want, I'll make small little recordings on my phone, if that's what you guys want, and go post them up in the Discord so I can give you guys a little bit of a play-by-play -play and how it's all going in that. So you guys aren't sitting there twiddling your thumbs wondering what the fuck is John and Bobby doing. What the hell? Because I do want to keep you guys in the loop as far as what's going on, and as always love more videos we'd love more input you know give us all your thoughts on that in regards to background and other Kekistan related things you guys would like to see and hell if you guys want to try and stream or game or something on the regular or whatever the hell this stupid 
YouTube, not YouTube program stuff wants to do it. It just hit me up in this. Oh, oh boy. I think that lag hit me. You know, just hit me up in Discord. Let me know what else going on. We'll try and figure something else out. Um, we have a little bit of a shout out to Lamont in that for giving me the idea to do this inadvertently. So, all these, whew, all this horrible accuracy and dead communist AP bodies are all for you, buddy. <laughs> uh, be sure to check out Lamont's channel and that. Give him some love. Same with Lawrence and House. Our good buddy, Larry Iron Lord. As he's thankfully still coming up with stuff. You know, I want to get it so that I'm not the only guy who's making stuff that everybody's at least making a little something, having their own side projects going together. Because I think that would actually be neat to have our server be a little bit of a network center for a whole bunch of guys who are doing their independent projects so that we can kind of like work together in tandem and stuff. Because I like the memes. The memes are pretty funny in that. Bobby Rizzo versus Bobby Russo. <laughs> it's kind of funny, especially after I was like, oh, Russo's actually a real guy. This isn't a meme. This is an actual dude. That was kind of interesting. <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting they swear in this game. That's awesome. Uh, oh, come on, you commie bastards, go ahead and send a robot. I am eager to hack your robots. Uh, now, unlike most people, I don't want to wind up having this just be a constant Twitch type thing. I mean, hey, I like sitting here playing these antiquated games because, you know, I'm an old fuck like that. Although, I don't want this to end up being my damn bread and butter in that. I want to get back to the old business and regular stuff we were doing. Because, yeah, that wasn't too bad. We had some fun times. Things were rolling fairly well. You know, the only thing that sucks is... With all the difficulty that YouTube had in that... Ooh, I got that guy good. You know, they made things a little bit difficult. You know. Thank you, Revenant, for reaching out to me earlier. Sorry, I couldn't really get this thing working in time and that. You know, it's a little pain in the ass, so I mean, Hopefully this will at least do for the time being. You know, what's he going to get the exploit and all that stuff figured out? I'll be doing some more stuff. But hopefully, if anything, Saturday, we'll go ahead and we'll just get her done. Get the next Chronicle out there. Get that taken care of. And then start rolling to either possibly making it an 11th or just rolling that over into what will be the next season because Bobby and I are going to have a sit down about that and figure out, okay, when do we want to have the ending of Backline's first season? Do we want to make it 10 episodes? Do we want to make it 15 episodes in that? Because the one definite thing I want to do is... Nope. Wrong GTK. Ah, there we go. Firecrackers do not hack things. There we go. Hack kid. There we go. Come on. We got to secure the clinic. We need this man. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, you know, want to figure out how long we want to make the first season. I was thinking, okay, ten episodes and then a movie for every season, and we just gradually grow the series from there. See how things roll. Add things. Change things. You know, make different diplomatic alliances, which is where, in this case, Sarvenia comes in with dealing with Megalistan. And then after that, we'll probably go ahead and be like, oh yeah, so we conquered this southern end of Turkmenistan because that became Megalistan within the, you know, Turkmenistan Civil War, whichever. And just call that a day and then work that into the mythos from there. Mythos, canon, whatever you guys want to call it. You know. Same thing, different name, I suppose. And 
let's see here, what other little projects do we have? Let's see here. I've got those two videos I was working on from when I went to the museum a while ago with some buddies of mine and that. That one I need a little bit of work on because one of them looks pretty decent. The other one is terrible because I'm going to let you guys know. Um, as cool as it is to be getting into a coal mining exhibit. Oh my god, it was so dark in there. It was insane. So I'm kind of like careful about putting that one out because I'm not going to lie to you. It's that, that fucker is going to look dark as hell and all sorts of fuzzy. Because the exhibit was dark. Very, very dark. But it was cool as hell because, hey, you know, you get to look at all the mining equipment and they get to actually boot up some of these antiques and still work. And they show how all that stuff works. So, I mean, it's really cool to be there in person. Now, as far as the video, I don't know. Not exactly the best quality, but I mean, hey, if you guys know the night vision camera, pff, let me know. Hook me up. Because that would have been great for that place. Because that probably would have been the only thing that would have actually filmed well in that environment. Because regular camera in that, I mean, I had to, I had to come and use a light. And I, like, you know, it's kind of rude to the other people to use the lights. It's like, yeah, alright, sorry. Let me go turn that off real quick. Yeah, that created a lot of trouble for the people in the Museum of Science and Industry. I don't know. U505 exhibit was pretty cool, though. I'm attempting to get a collaboration with that one because the cool thing is that's a German sub from World War II that we actually captured. And when I was talking to uh, my buddy Dune Styler over in Germany, he's like, oh, yeah, I heard about that. I know a thing or two about that sub. And whenever he's done with some of the physics work and super weapon stuff he's doing in that, and I'll see if maybe he's got the spare time to go and put in his two cents about that. Because he told me things I didn't even know about it that weren't even in the exhibit. I was like, you know what? That's actually kind of cool. You know, it'd be kind of cool to do a little collaboration with Dune Styler going, so, uh, you know, try and get that together in the future. Oh, I got taken out, that sucks. Uh, that's the only thing that sucks about this game. Oof, you get, the, you get killed like that if you're not careful. <clears throat> so, uh, we'll see about getting things rolling with Dune Styler. There is one definite thing I will not be doing, though. Uh, from here on out, major announcement. I will not be attending the 5th of November. I'm not talking about the voting stuff. I'm talking about Guy Fox Day. Not going to have anything to do with it anymore. I'm, I'm pretty much done with uh, Anonymous and them. You know, used to be pretty decent with some of the guys in, collect in the collective back in the day. But thing is as far as the Chicago sect of Anonymous they're 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 fucking done they've been done for like Jesus two maybe three years I think roughly it's done to like a small handful of people and they're okay they're not that bad but I mean you went from like 60 people in in an effective organization to like five six under ten roughly that's a massive drop in numbers and I blame Revcom for that one I'm marking the location for you. Revcom, lack of communication, ineptitude. Some of that, I will admit, was on my shoulders in that, because my stupid ass keeps losing business cards left and right. <sighs> you're, as far as, you know, in regards to communications, that you're better off just hitting me up in Discord, tell me, here's my Discord, here's my email, here's my phone number, and then messaging me stuff, you know. Giving me a business card, I, I lose stuff like that all the time. I'm not going to even bullshit about that one. But the main thing is, I'm kind of tired of like November 5th basically just getting small, falling out of re relevance, and in general it just being people that are just not really doing much of anything. It's like, yeah, it's an operation, but we're not really doing anything with this operation. We're just going to remind people that we technically still exist, you know. The whole, you know, we are anonymous, we are a legion, blah, blah, blah. That's stuff everyone else is used to hearing all the time. You know? 
rather be like how it was beforehand, where everyone was like, okay, hey, you know, this is an anonymous meetup. You know, this is where everyone from this sect, that operation, this, you know, group within anonymous gets together and goes, okay, hey, how can we help each other? How can we coordinate? You know, what the hell is this term you guys call it? IRL meetup or whatever? You know, you should be in something like that. Or to where it was like, okay, this is Guy Fox State for this operation or that operation, and you know, it was people trying to get things done. It wasn't people just like, you know, masturbating away like a bunch of lazy bastards, or being puppets to the goddamn communist Borg. Because, yeah, like, especially since this year it falls on a weekday, not a weekend, just like how May Day was last year, that's a work day. You know what, I'm not gonna lie. If Guy Fox State isn't gonna be like a very well coordinated thing and it's just gonna be people shooting from the hip or just filming for filming's sake, I'm not gonna really bother making much of an effort to get there. Especially if it's only gonna be a small group of people and I'm gonna be like sitting there over at a restaurant with like a handful of people just chit chatting with them and stuff going okay so what about this what about that the president blah 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 and stuff and it's not really going to be anything that's going to go anywhere you know because i mean yeah anonymous still exists they still do their things and that but i mean i'm going to be honest with you i'm tech retarded I'm so tech retarded, I'm doing this in this video in the particular format that I'm doing it in because I can't figure out how to work this other new high-tech stuff. You know, I'm not too far behind Bobby in that regards. So, yeah. I can try the, I tried the whole IRC thing, and that went to shit from what I was told last time, which was about two years ago roughly. And like, oh, try Cyber Gorilla. And I was like, okay, I tried to get on Cyber Gorilla. I can't figure out that damn thing. I went through Hex Chat and I did this, that, and the other, and I couldn't long get into the goddamn thing. And the one add on gal that was a buddy of mine was too busy with Green Ops, and other than that, was like, I'm going to literally have to sit next to you, John, so I, so I can show you how to work this because you're just not getting it. And I kind of went and rolled my eyes and went, yeah, you're probably right. And, you know, she is way out of state, several states away. So, yeah, to hell with it. And besides, they're always griping. She, her and the other couple of people are always griping about how the guy who was planning the thing for Chicago was some dude in Texas. Why? It, I, I don't know. Maybe a non-Texas is better than a non-Chicago or something. They, hell if I know. I don't know. Great. Your first objective is <sighs> the radio relay. The Eagles are waiting to update you. But yeah, nonetheless, seeing as how essentially Guy Fox Day is like an empty handshake and an event that's fallen into obscurity and isn't constructive, at least in Chicago, I'm not gonna bother. I mean, if like hell, I go to work tomorrow and I wind up running through downtown for whatever reason and then there's like, you know, 30 guys that are sitting there with their signs and stuff. Yeah, sure, I'll hop in with it and that. You know, chance are already gonna happen, but you know, in the off case, you know, one of these days I go by one of the, you know, some other state or something like fucking I don't Idaho, Wisconsin, or Alaska or whatever, and their whole guy Fox Day thing is on point and they're actually trying to get things done. Yeah, I'll absolutely go and join in with it. You know, wouldn't mind doing it. As far as uh, Chicago Anonymous, that uh, they've been taken over by the by the uh, radical left wing Borg and pretty much just destroyed. Great. You know, you they're pretty well the dead as far as I know. For a direct link to the so, you know, not going to be doing anything too anonymous related as far as working with their operations and that. Um, working with, uh, you know, November 5th and all that stuff. I might be doing any more videos or going any more of their November 5th get togethers and stuff like that, you know. Great. It's the practically a waste of time. Building. I mean, especially considered all their stuff is like we're digital this, digital that, and blah blah blah. And it's like, look, unless you want to sit down there and, ex and talk to a dinosaur and try and educate a dinosaur on how to work this stuff, you're gonna have a hard time with it. I'm gonna have a hard time with it. It's gonna be a bad idea, you know. A people person. I mean, hello. Uh, you know, this home front uh, game of the year for 2019. 
Yeah, I don't think so, so yeah. And that should kind of tell about where I am on the tech scale of things nowadays, you know. I don't know exactly, zip around in, uh, what's that game, Fortnite? Yeah, I don't exactly zip around in Fortnite and do the hanky-panky dance or whatever the hell they call it. Doofy thing where you shake your arms and stuff and then you get shot at by some dude in Iran or something. Yeah, it, it, don't do that. So yeah. And in regards to other like activist activities like that that I'll most likely do, you know, hey, if I wind up having an off day for Mayday next year, yeah. If it's on a weekend, yeah, I'll totally go to it. You know, Scoob and I got some fun plans for in the off case that it's on a weekend and not on a weekday. You know, a couple interesting things we can go ahead and do because the good thing is, weather permitting, his area and mine are loaded with a bunch of deranged communist retards. You know, he's got the guys that come down from Manhattan, I've got the guys that come down from the north side, you know. It gets absolutely nuts. So, you know, that'll be something worthwhile if you guys are looking forward to something like that. KPA reinforcements heading your way. Oh, I got reinforcements, alright. Let me just mow these guys down then. Future as far as different videos and ideas and that. Is it like some of the little fun stuff that Lamont's doing? That's some pretty easy, simple stuff to do, and I like to support some of the work he's doing. Because Lamont's good people, he's in our server, and some of the stuff he's doing is kind of funny. Like that last video they put in the commercial there. Yeah, definitely watch that one. That's plenty of hysterical. It's good stuff. Great, can you show some hustle? We need you over here. Alright, let's see how we can do with these guys here. God, I love silencers. Bitches love silencers. Gotta be silent and deadly sometimes, because you never know when her father's gonna come. There we go, that robot's done for. Ah. Uh. Oh, shotgun asshole. That's right, stay dead. Oh, I hate these guys. These guys, these fucking shotgun skirmishers, they are tough bastards. Tough, tough bastards. Now let's see here, as far as other people in their projects aside from Lamont, I know Lari is working on his Iron Guard project, or Ronin as he's going by now. Right. We could use you at the and definitely in the near future, I'd like to go and help him out with that project as well. Because the cool thing is, if I remember correctly, I believe he said he was going to try and make it within the backline universe and stuff, but he was going to kind of go his own angle with it. So hey, by all means, I'm open to ideas. I love ideas. So if anything, go and help them out with that. Get a little bit more camouflage together. Um, yeah, speaking of camouflage, it's one of the other fun things we'll be doing. Is aside from the couple of small... ...projects that we have going on with the server contests and the like. I will potentially also be doing a couple more tank designs and such for the movie. I forgot to mention that earlier. I forgot to mention that in particular because it was something I was contemplating as okay, do I want to design another tank or do I not want to? Because I do have the one that was almost finished, but the treads were the main problem. So it was like, okay, do I want to work with the treads? Do I want to work with the wheels? I don't know. But nonetheless, I'm going to possibly throw some more tank designs out there. And as far as server contests, 
Levant's doing pretty good with the Me Me contest. He's got the top one so far, mostly because he's been the only submission. Though, hey, did no real time limit on that, so you guys take your time with it, you know. Don't worry about that. Uh, so, speaking of submissions, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go and show a couple of the contest ideas we've had so far for submissions. And yeah, I know it's not a lot, but you know, that's something to take into consideration. Yeah, I know that was kind of a short list there. Sorry, like like I said, there's only there are only a handful of contests. I'm not likely to make any more because you know, everyone's busy with school and that, so I'm not gonna make it really too big of a deal in that. Just, you know the few that we've got there and that, you know. Name the tank. Me me. The only two real big ones. Um, if anyone wanted to work on that K ration more, you know, by all means go ahead with it. Um, I didn't know if I wanted to just say, okay, Ronan basically won that contest by default or not, because I wanted to see if anyone else came up with more ideas than that, especially if it was House mentioned, hey, can we just basically just load stuff into barrels and drop it? You know, I thought that was a great idea. Because I thought immediately making a parody of the uh, barrel bombs that uh, Israel and Palestine were allegedly using against each other not too long ago. And saying, okay, yeah, sure, you know, we're dropping barrels full of supplies. Because, <laughs> I mean, you know, you know what? The hell not. You know, it's satire, it's fiction, it doesn't exactly have to be something that's. Oh, God, let me just run up and stab this guy. I was hoping he was gonna shoot back at me. Oh boy. You know. I was hoping it was gonna be, you know. Oh god, I gotta love the A when I don't try and kill you. Too funny. Oh, he killed him. I was gonna go ahead and stab him. Well, shit, I think they like me too. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> nice. Ooh, right in the face. Gotta love how these combi termites fall. the first thing is you're gonna get be staring at me like why the fuck are you playing an antique game like this man hey I like killing communists this is a game in which you can kill plenty of communists it was on sale it was a good game I like it you know 
Besides, some of these bombed out buildings that are kind of pretty kek anyways. Because, I mean, hey, we're talking about fighting in a war zone and stuff, you know. Fighting for independence, freedom, liberty, all that good stuff. You know, very Kekistan, even though it's home front. Same idea, different universe. that was gonna happen. Uh okay. Time to flank around these guys. Get my medical kit and just flank them. I know they're gonna do this, damn it. Discord, let me know if there's anything I missed. I think I pretty well covered everything. If anything, hey. Whenever I get the spare time, I'll go ahead and just set this up again. It's not like it's that, it's that difficult. <laughs> then the alternative. <laughs> uh, Alright. You have a good one, guys.